Um, so uh, that's pretty much it with the default configuration. I just want to take a few minutes to show you some of the other options that you can get. In the toolbars of your customized user interface tab, there's a group and in there you can find DRaster. And within here you'll find a couple options that you probably want to know about. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a new toolbar and I'll just call it uh, Digital Raster. Actually. And I'll just drag and drop a couple of these in there. Uh, the only ones you'll really be focusing on uh, in, terms of, in terms of using it as a toolbar would be the two with the icon there. The other ones are actually uh, sticky operations which I'll go over in just a second. Um, but here you can have options to, or here you have an option to actually drag those two tools into the toolbar here. So I've created a new toolbar and I'm just going to drag it to the top right here. So the first one will actually turn off all of the switcher functions. So if I move that over here and click this button off, now now basically my navigation is back to the default scheme that Max used. Um, so no longer do I have the autofocus or the viewport navigation modes or the selection modes or any of those fo functions that I was just showing you. So um, that's useful if you prefer to work this way, but you work in an environment where you work with other people and they might not be familiar or comfortable using the Maya style navigation. You have an easy way of just turning that mode on or off. Um, so here as a toolbar, it's just really easy to just access that. The next button is just some of the options you get within Switcher. So here there's just another option to turn it on or off. Um, you have some other options. Um, by default, Max uses a rather uh, fast means of zooming in. So if you have a fairly small uh, scene or world, you can zoom in on it by clicking that button, but you notice it's pretty fast and you can sometimes clip in rather quickly. Um, so you can turn that feature to be slower if you use the actual map navigation modes that we've installed within Switcher. So here, you know, zooming in is a little bit more sensitive and it works a lot better, um, in my opinion. Um, so here we have some other options within Switcher. You can lock your orthographic views from tumbling. So here, if I try tumbling my right view, it's locking it. If you don't prefer that feature, you can turn these features on and off. And then finally, there's an option to turn off and or on the quick transform mode. So that's something that uh, you can do in Maya by selecting an object. And if you go into any mode, um, you can use the little the little gizmo here to actually move it. But if you use your middle mouse button, you can actually transform it without actually hovering your cursor over the, the gizmo. And that works on any one of these. So if you start a rotation on that, and then you want to just continue the rotation, you can just use your left mouse button. Uh, that's been mimicked now in Max as well. So you can go, uh, let's try to find that same object here. And if I start my rotation on that, and now with my middle mouse button, I can continue on. So it kind of automatically just locks your selection and transforms it all within uh, that mouse button press. Um, so I'm just going to click save and close and go over some of the other main features of Switcher. So anything that has a little sticky uh, at the end of each of the commands is meant to primarily be used uh, with your keyboard. So I'm going to switch to the keyboard section, uh, find that same group and go under DRaster and let's assign some hockey. So for the selection lock, I'm not going to really focus on that, um, but we can look at the snap angle sticky. Um, so in Maya you can actually uh, set up uh, angle snap. So if I go over here and, and hold down the J key, we can we can rotate based on a specific snapping angle and you can get that by going and double clicking on the actual rotation tool and actually set up a snap step size. So um, right now it's grayed out, but with the J key I can actually enable it and, and turn it on off just by holding down the J key. So you'll see that when I press down on it, it works and when I let go, it turns itself off. So that's also been mimicked in Mac. So if you want to use the same hotkey, you can do that. Just press J. Um, we've also incorporated all the snapping modes of Maya into Max as sticky functions. So now in Maya, if you have an object and you want it to snap to, for instance, the grid or curve or points, the three hotkeys uh, correspond to these three buttons here, uh, X being the grid, C being the curve, and V being the points. So uh, that's also been mimicked all within 3ds Max. I encourage you to try using all that. Um, and finally, there is the function of the uh, timeline scrubber. So in Maya, you can scrub through your animations just by clicking on the little timeline scrubber um, and, or using the K key plus the actual left mouse button to drag through it. So in Max, we've also incorporated that too. So if you wanted to use the K key with your left mouse button to scrub through your animations, you can do that using this key function.